All right, hey, we are here in, what is it called, Morelia? <laughs> Morelia, Michoacan is the Coducto behind us. And it was about a five hour drive. We took about six hours because we stopped part of the way uh, from Lobos de Coquioc, Morelos, to here. Um, Got everything unpacked and the house is beautiful. Yeah, yeah, the same place. And um, it's a really beautiful town here. And it's raining today. <laughs> you see the ground. <coughs> Got a little bit of rain. I haven't seen rain in months, like yeah. June, July. It's kind of refreshing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the house is like all wooden, wooden floors, wooden everything, and our friend is just yeah. sending us a uh, sister or friend, so thank you, Mr. Bloom. Yeah, yeah. At Ternova. It's a historic <laughs> district, so it's a really beautiful old, old home. Amigo. Yeah. We made friends already. Yes. Yeah. I think they're wasted. That's okay. We made friends. I unpacked everything and we are ready, yeah? Yeah. yeah. We got one bedroom with a queen and a single and we got one bedroom with a king just for us. So we're excited. Yeah. We spend all the time separated from the we're kids, the bedrooms under the floors. Having so some Tacos, um, tacos de pastor. I like it. It's got the uh, here it is. It's got pineapple and everything inside of it, and so it's kind of yummy. And yeah, and we're just kind of taking it easy this week, um, this weekend. We're um, what do you see behind me? There's a Right there. Um, you know, normally we'll do piano with the kids and do all this um, stuff with the kids, but we're, we're going to take it easy and just relax and see the area. Um, we're going to see the, the Mariposas, Monarcas Mariposas and the Montañas, um, and go to church and just enjoy the area, um, and it's going to be a lot of fun. I really like Morelia, it's a really beautiful town, a lot of history, and, and we'll show you more videos as we do more. See you later. Come this way, buddy. We're going to the butterflies, and there's lots of. Vendors selling beautiful cloths with butterflies in them. It's really pretty. Yeah. 
A little beautiful. Came real close to us. Don't touch it. It's going to fly away any second. Or maybe it can't fly anymore. It's like a lot of these. Nope. A lot of these. With the different shades of lighting, it's hard to see on the camera. But there's lots of We are enjoying the butterfly sanctuary. Rosario. You're a baby. You are soft but beauty found within each butterfly <laughs> and a collective masterpiece they make together <laughs> as their wings collide together to make a canvas of orange and black and white. They take flight as the sun lights upon their trees and they enjoy the light rays of the sun. What a beautiful gift God has given us. Oh, Mary Poppins, Queen of Love. pushing me. What are you doing, Sandy? No, Otter, Otter, back on Otter. Let's go, let's go. She was blowing on it and hot. saying it was hot. hot. Sandy, it's hot. Hot. Do you think they're hot? I guess because they're orange, she thinks they're hot. We just got her out of the pack and put her down, and she just goes up to the butterfly and starts blowing on her. Hot! Hot! Serenity, why do you think they're hot? Hot! Okay. Serenity, why are they hot? They go to this. Hot! Hot! Serenity was right. Hot! Hot! No, no. That just now, it instantly went online. No, no, it's not here.
So we just finished with the butterfly sanctuary and it was awesome. And we got some burritos in a town, so that's great. We'd like to suggest that instead of going through Ocampa like we did the first time, <laughs> on our way out we're going through this town. When you go through this town, then go to El Rosario. It's much easier on your car, the road is wider, it's just hey, a let go. Easier, go easier thing to do. <laughs> uh, we all had a great time, the kids got to learn about butterflies, their life cycles, the butterflies kept landing the on them. Lucia, we have one in the car. And Courage took one home. It's floating around the car. <laughs> and it's floating around the car. <laughs> uh, we didn't realize it was alive. Okay, um, you're not supposed to touch the butterflies. Don't touch the butterflies. If they happen to land on you, the kids learned patience because they would land on them and then they just walk very slowly. Are you gonna eat this? And they would stay on them, so that's great. A um, little more tips. Bring a jacket, light jacket, not a heavy jacket. Ooh, um, there are there. stairs, lots of stairs, but I really don't find a need to rent the horses. Um, my five-year-old walked the whole thing, no problem, running and jumping. Um, not a big deal. Serenity walked half of it. My the horses cost 100 pesos! The horses cost 100 pesos, but I think you would miss part of the sanctuary because when you're doing the walking, the, you walk through these areas where they're like coming up. We got really lucky and right when we got there, up to the top part, the sun came out and the butterflies just got like, woo, super happy. Um, so that was really cool. So we suggest coming between 10 9 and 10, maybe 11 o'clock. You know it is? We came at night, uh, sorry, not like, later in the day, and it still worked out, but we had to pray for sun. Um, it's definitely an experience where you're like, there must be a God, because there's no reason for the butterflies to be here, other than God telling us He loves us, right? It was just beautiful. Um, it was really... Here's beautiful. the butterfly! There's the butterfly that carries to go, that we thought was dead, and it just started flying. Oopsie! Um, yeah, it was wonderful. There are bathrooms there, five pesos. Bathrooms actually have butterflies in the tiles. Um, you don't need a guide, so um, when you go in through that city, you go towards the sanctuary and then you park your car. Um, and then you go and you can use the bathroom there, and then you walk past this, this follow all the all the tiendas. There's a bunch of little stores. And you don't need a guide, you just need to buy a ticket. If you don't buy a ticket there, you go past all the stores, keep going up, 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 up the stores, up past the left of the stores. And then and then, because that's what happens in real life. Your kid yells at you during a video. Yep, keep it real, keep it real. Um, and then you just keep going up, 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 and then finally you see an arch that says, you know, you're welcome to Butterfly Sanctuary, and there you buy tickets. It is 50 pesos for um, adults and 40 pesos for kids above the age of two. Um, so that's your information. You do not need to buy a guide, you don't need to buy anything else, just 50 pesos per person. Um, and then you just keep walking past there. Once you reach the arch that says welcome to the sanctuary, you're halfway there. And then you start walking through the forest and the butterflies and it's just... Thing. They're not like swarming you, but they're definitely flying very close to you. Um, there's dead ones on the ground, there's ones mating, there's ones up in the tree. I mean, it was just gorgeous. So there's our tips for going to the butterfly sanctuary. If you're gonna go, go to the biggest one, El Rosario.